What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having a good day today. Uh, in today's video we're going to be heading out to the shop and uh, working on the 240 a little bit. Today we're going to be heading out there to do something that's long overdue on the 240 and that is the exhaust. So it still has a catalytic converter in it which is hilarious. Um, I'm always working on other people's stuff doing custom fabrication so I figured today would be a good opportunity to show you guys kind of what I do on the side. Um, this last year I took on a lot of automotive fabrication jobs. I uh, never really had time to do my own stuff so this winter I was like I'm not going to be driving the car may as well kind of hit it hard and do a full custom three inch exhaust for the car. Um, I have everything in the back of the hatch right now to build it. Um, I got a couple 45s, a couple 90s. I have I believe 12 feet of 304 stainless um, three inch diameter tubing. Also from Ace Race Parts, I got a ultra quiet, vibrant resonator. Um, I did not get a muffler yet. We're gonna kind of see how it sounds once I get around the rear diff area and go from there if I wanna do a muffler or if I wanna just keep straight pipes, uh, blast pipes or something like that. And then I got three quick release uh, V-bands. So should have all the material we need. We're gonna go to the shop, rip off the old exhaust, open up all the uh, new material, and then we'll go from there. All right, you guys. We made it to the shop. Um, as you can see, it's pretty empty in here, man. We used to have a lot of stuff going on here, but now that it's winter, everyone's kind of projects are on hold and stuff. Uh, not a lot going on around here. I'm here alone today. Uh, Got to see what we can't get done on the 240. It's on uh, jack stands over here, all ready for us. The old exhaust is still on the car, so we're gonna pull that off. Um, a lot of it's like welded together, so there's just a couple bolts and a couple hangers holding that on. Uh, tonight we're going to try to see what we can't bust out on the exhaust, get all that taken off, maybe take some measurements and start working on a downpipe. So bumpers are off the car, ready to go. Uh, we can just dive right in. So let's pull that old exhaust off. So I pulled the uh, downpipe off, and obviously I knew about this, but this thing is uh, a little flattened. So I'm gonna try to do our best on this new one to get this uh, exhaust tucked up. Look at that, dude. Easy peasy. Saw the uh, catalytic converter in there too. <laughs> dude, this thing is just a Frankenstein. Exhaust, man. Welded here, welded here. Exhaust leaks everywhere. It wasn't me, I promise. This should be a lot better. And uh, now I'm actually gonna open up some of that new material and show you guys what we're working with on the new stuff. Let's open this up. We got our material here from Ace. Ace Race Parts here in Washington. Uh, they're in Olympia, so usually I go through them there. They have really good Really good quality stainless and uh, ships in like two or three days so it's just across the state. So, open up some of this. Oh, baby. Dude, this is, oh, this is so fucking nice, dude. Couple 45s. Got a couple 90s. Um, I believe these are the same. Yeah, dude, these are awesome. So, a couple little bends here just to get around. Stuff easier. Got a flex for the downpipe. Got some pie cuts. Got three quick release V band flanges. And then we got a vibrant, ultra quiet resonator. So obviously, that isn't all, but a um, couple 45s, a couple 90s, a flex for the downpipe, a pie cut, three quick release V bands and a vibrant ultra quiet resonator. Um, obviously, to replace all of this, we need some straight. So I have a bunch of straight piping back here. I have about four feet right here, eight feet, and then 12 feet right here. So I got plenty of 
stainless steel straight to work with. And this should be kind of the beginnings of it. Obviously this isn't everything, but with basically this and some of the straight back there, we're gonna build a full new exhaust for the 240. So I am fucking excited to ditch all this. I just, I work on everybody else's cars all the time doing automotive fabrication and never get time to work on my own stuff. So I'm actually super stoked to see how this turns out. All right, so the plan is obviously gonna be to pretty much mimic this roughly. Um, I do want to tuck it up higher because this hung super low. As you can see, it's like flattened on the bottom of the uh, flex piece here. <laughs> we have the capability to fully tuck this up as high as we can um, and fully custom fabricate this whole downpipe uh, from scratch. So basically what I want to do is mimic this, obviously from the turbo outlet, but tuck it up as high as we can. Um, and then the other thing is I have a O2 bung as well for this, for the O2 sensor. So honestly, I think this downpipe will be pretty easy. The only hard part is depending on how tucked this is, kind of dictates the tube path for the whole rest of the exhaust. So this needs to be spot on. So I think I'm gonna put the flex down in the bottom after the bend. The straight won't be this long, obviously, but depending on how high I can tuck it up, uh, kind of dictates whatever length this is gonna be. It'll be something kind of like this, and then the flex on the end of it. Another straight, maybe a bend, and then to a V-band. So let's get started on that. We'll get some measuring done, come up, tack some stuff, pop back down there, uh, test fit real quick, and kind of just go through that until we get a fit that we like, and it's nice and tucked up. And uh, yeah, so let's get started on that. Our measurement is gonna be like two and a half, and that tucks it like right above the frame rail. So that'll be perfect. And then that kind of sets the path for the whole rest of the exhaust, uh, just roughly. We're gonna tack a two and a half inch straight onto the flange and then kind of take this down there, get our clocking, mark our clocking measurements, and then we can add our flex piece at the bottom of the downpipe and keep going back to our V-band flange, kind of like so, have a little straight there and terminate that downpipe right there. So we'll get started on that right now. I actually didn't know that this was not a three inch, three bolt flange. It's actually a 2.75, so I didn't know that. So it's either I get a new turbo outlet or I cut some of this off, which is two and a half inches, like I said. Um, so that two and a half inches, basically we're just gonna reuse this one flange, which is a little bit unfortunate, but. So we're gonna get our clocking mark and tack this elbow on there like so. That way we reuse our 2.75 inch uh, turbo outlet flange here because we kind of have to. I'm gonna set the camera up real quick and we will get to tacking and test fitting. So we got this tacked up, our clocking marks are uh, dead on. We're gonna roughly install it on the car, make sure that our tube path is still good and then it's tucked up nice and high. And then we will, uh, after verifying that, we'll pull it back up and uh, throw some welds down on this and then keep going. We're gonna go ahead and tack this uh, flex on there as well. It has no rotation, obviously, uh, so this will be fine. And then we'll get these welded up and test fit and then I'll show you guys kind of the progress from the underside of the car. So I just finished these first three welds on the downpipe. I'm gonna need an O2 uh, bung in here somewhere. I'm thinking probably just like right on the side right here. It kind of depends where the harness for the O2 sensor actually goes. So got that one all welded up. These two welded up. progress updates. Um, I got the flex welded on, all this is good to go. Uh, we need a O2 bung, but I'm gonna do that after I build this um, straight to the V-bands. I need to tack this straight on right here, 
tack the V-band on, and then that's right where it opens up past the trans. So I think I have a little bit of room for the resonator right there. And we'll go back and drill a hole for the O2 bunk. Little progress update from underneath the car. Downpipe is pretty much done, minus the O2 bong. Um, now we're working off of this V-band right here for the mid-pipe. So what I'm gonna do is tack the V-band to the straight with this angle on it. Um, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to clock it and get it to sit as high up here as I can in this region uh, where the old exhaust shield was. That seems like the best place to put the resonator since uh, I can kind of tuck it up above the frame rails there. And then near the drive line, it's gonna get pretty interesting. It's gonna hang a little bit low as well. I don't have a lot of room, so we'll do the best we can. But so once we get this last of this little easier part done with the resonator set high up, then it's gonna get kind of interesting back here. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is tack this pie cut to this straight and the straight to the V-band um, because basically there is no rotation on this quite yet. So once we put this on the car, then you can rotate to try to see how high we can tuck the resonator. The resonator is gonna be on this pie cut side. So basically all of these three will be together like so and we can rotate like this, which will kick it down or up, and we're gonna get it almost all the way up against the underside of the car to tuck it as high as we can, and then make our clocking marks from the resonator to this pie cut, pull the resonator off, tack all that together, and go from there. So the next thing, tack all three of these joints together, get our clocking, tack the resonator on, weld them all, and then we'll go from there. We got these two joints tacked up. Uh, there's no rotation on them, so I can go ahead and weld those. But before we do, uh, shout out to Jacob Rogers, my good buddy. Um, he told me to get these quick release assemblies, which are freaking amazing. Um, I've worked on a couple people's cars doing V-bands and whatnot. From now on, I'm literally only gonna get these. These are the quick release V-bands. Um, Ace Race is who I got this, all this material from, but Vibrant makes them as well. I know a, a couple other companies probably do as well. But basically, you just loosen up the nut on here, squeeze it and then you flip this latch back and then there you go so basically these are a must when you're working with v-bands gonna do that from now on shout out to jacob now so before we weld this we have our male v-band flange so we're gonna go ahead and grab our female v-band and i'm gonna put this in the assembly that way we can kind of reduce warpage that's gonna happen when we put a ton of heat on this uh the flange might not be flat anymore so it might not make a good ceiling surface so what we're gonna do is put the other V-band, this is just for reference, like I said, um, clamp it up in the assembly to try to keep these two things as flat as we can during the welding process. Got this on the other side of the downpipe, got our clocking marks for the resonator to get it tucked up as high as possible and still in alignment with like the rest of the two paths and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tack this with our clocking marks that we got from under the car. Um, this whole mid pipe will be like halfway complete. And then once we get towards the rear diff, it'll get a little interesting, but we have already got a lot done actually in just this one session, so I'm pretty stoked about it.
right, you guys, it is a new day here working on the exhaust for the S13. Where we left off, I believe I was finishing up some welds on the resonator piece here, this mid pipe. Um, all I did um, off camera was basically tack up two more joints here, which basically puts us right under kind of like the driveline area. Um, now, the next part is gonna be trying to get it tucked up as high as we can without obviously making contact or even coming close really to the driveline, um, but trying to get it as far up as we can so that we're not gonna be just like scraping flat ground all the time. So that'll be kind of the challenge for this next portion. And then once we clear like the rear diff area, we should just honestly be able to just straight shot it out, maybe one little angle, two angles maybe, we'll see. And then we'll probably wanna test fit the bumper back on to make sure that we get the desired length on our tips. But if we get this far today, I'm probably gonna start it and assuming it'll start. I'm gonna start it, see how it sounds, and then decide whether or not we want to do a muffled setup or which, because we have the ultra quiet resonator in there already, um, or just do straight pipe, which honestly I think straight pipe will sound good, but it'll also be a cold start. So if it's too crazy, like too raspy, probably throw a muffler on it before we get all the way to the end. Uh, if not, if it sounds pretty good around the rear diff area, we'll probably just roll with it and then extend it out the back uh, through the bumper. So I'm probably going to go under the car real quick, test fit this since it's been a couple days, uh, throw it back up on the bench, weld it, and then uh, keep moving along. A little quick update of what's going on here. I uh, got this downpipe section done minus the O2 sensor. Uh, we got a V-band there to the resonator and then now we're trying to tuck this as high as we can up to the drive line like so. It barely makes contact with that carrier bearing bracket but uh, we're just gonna just adjust it barely down when we do our hangers. So we're pretty much over halfway done. After this, it just needs to route past the rear subframe and then it's kind of a straight shot to the bumper, so. All right, we got our mid pipe here with the resonator piece. We got our clocking marks on these three joints here. We'll get these tacked up real quick and uh, add this 45 on there as well. And then we will keep going.
small little progress update. Got these three welded. Um, they look super good. Loving how these turned out. They look super nice and gold, if not silver. Little to no color on those. Super fucking stoked with how those turned out. Um, I'm gonna test fit this right now. I think we might need one little like pie cut to get basically to route us through the rear subframe and like diff area. And then honestly, it should just be kind of straight out the back of the car. So I'm gonna test fit this real quick, see what we need to do in order to route it correctly uh, for the right tube path. And then uh, make some clocking marks on there, pull it up, tack it, and then I'll probably be done for the day. Um, come back again tomorrow and bust some more stuff out. <laughs> Let's go. It's like perfect. finish the exhaust today um, I basically built off camera a like axle back um, built like a straight off of a v-band to a slight bend straight and then to the tips basically just going from uh, the, the last v-band we had at the rear diff area to the back of the tips um, had to figure out how far out I wanted the blast pipes to sit um, if I wanted them to angle up a little bit and all that good stuff so I tacked those up um, welded them and then got them on the car. Now I basically just have to weld some hangers on. I do have to go back and swap all the like nylon nuts on the V-band clamps um, instead of having just your traditional stainless bolts or whatever they, they give you for fitting. Um, so now I have to go back and swap all those uh, nuts out and then honestly the exhaust should be done. We can get the car on the ground. We can start it up, see how it sounds. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited uh, for today. We should be tidying the whole thing up and seeing how it looks, seeing how it sounds. This is going to be a killer upload. You guys will kind of get to see what I do um, on the side. Now on my own project, which is awesome. I'm always working on everybody else's stuff. Like, how do you still have a catalytic converter in your 240, dude? And I was like, I, I, don't, I don't ever have time to work on my own stuff. So I'm happy that I actually had some time to work on my own fabrication project on the 240 this winter uh, before bringing it back out this spring. So without further ado, let's get in there. Let's weld some hangers up and then let's uh, see the finished product. Here she is. Tips on this thing look great. I'm super happy with how it came out. They stick out pretty much about the same as the old ones, except these ones are nice and polished. I think it's perfect how it kind of goes to the line of the bumper. Um, you can kind of see right there. I think that is money. And then of course they are pretty centered here. I got one more hanger to do, so it might be a little bit over to the left while I uh, weld that in place. I might pull that tip a little bit to the left of the bumper cut out there but overall looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself I'm super stoked just building this thing entirely from scratch I'm super proud of all the work that I put into this and hopefully it pays off sounds good looks good people won't ever really see it but you know what I can say that I built the whole exhaust from start to finish all the way off of the downpipe so that's pretty cool if you ask me be kind of hard to see but I'll try to kind of show you guys the underside of it We've got of course our blast pipes got some hangers right here going into here we got the 
V-band right there. I'm gonna try to tuck that up a little bit, turn the V-band uh, to where it can get tucked up kind of above the diff. Kinda gets tucked up over there. See the resonator way back there and whole thing brand new three inch stainless steel 304 quick release v bands got some a flex joint up there ultra quiet vibrant resonator in the middle there this thing looks beautiful and i am so stoked to hear what it sounds like i'm gonna get this last hanger welded up and then honestly this thing will be entirely complete with a full custom exhaust on it i'm fucking stoked let's get into it All right, you guys, I just finished up welding that hanger on there, so it should be good to go. Uh, now I gotta take the rear bumper off to get this thing back on the ground. Uh, I had to get a little creative to get it on four jack stands, so gotta put uh, some wood under the wheels or ramps and then jack up the rear end, put that down on the wood, jack up the front, lower that down. It's like almost like a two, three stage process to get this down off the jack stands. We're gonna get the car on the ground and then we will start it up and see how she sounds. Only four pieces of on each side. And the max is the mic jacks. 